guys, it's me again, Rahan. Welcome back to our channel. And this is my second vlog. And in this vlog, we're gonna be discussing three topics. And these are manipulating text, graphics, and images to create ICT content intended for an online environment. Introducing game to understand the basic techniques in image manipulation. And lastly, we have uploading, sharing, and image hosting platforms. But that was pretty though. But anyways, we're going to go through and discuss all of these topics one by one. Let's start with our first topic, which is manipulating text, graphics, and images to create ICT content intended for an online environment. Now, what I have here is an image. Image is an artifact that depicts or records a visual perception. For example, a two-dimensional picture that has a similar appearance to some subject usually a physical or object or a person, thus providing a depiction of it. So first, we'll be discussing about information graphics or, or what they call infographics. And this is what an infographic looks like. Here are some of the tips in making an infographics. Number one. Remember to use the best simple image that you can find and think of. Number two, do a process of elimination as to which is the best fit to conveying your message. Number three, limit the use of metaphors unless you are certain that you can convey or communicate your data well. Number four is the old age. This refers to the process to confine and deliver your message at the glance. There are seven rules in designing your infographics layout. Number one, define the visual approach. Number two, the visual value. Three, simple and edgy. Number four, unity, precision, and organization. Five, color psychology. Six, data organization. And lastly, number seven, accuracy of data. Okay, so there are four types of infographics. The maps, comparisons, timelines, and lastly, the data visualizations. The three most popular image formats for sharing screen captures on the web are JPG or JPEG, PNG, and GIF. Okay, so we're now done with our first topic and we're going to proceed to our next topic which is Introducing GIMP to understand the basic principles and basic techniques in image manipulation. So before we start, what is image manipulation? It is simply defined as a process of changing and improving graphic images. We have now here the basic principles and techniques in editing images. Number 1. Cropping Cropping an image effectively can already make a huge difference to its impact. Color balance. Adjusting the color balance can change the mood of an image as well as correcting the images such as tone to bright. Brightness and contrast. Images that look rather gray, flat, and dull can often be brought to life by tweaking the contrast levels. Compression and resizing. It is essential to resize your images before uploading them to your website or blog. Now, since we already discussed about image manipulation and the basic principles and techniques in editing images, we will now define GIMP. GIMP is an acronym for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It is a freely distributed program for such tasks as photo retouching, image composition, and image authoring. Here are the parts of the GIMP. We have here the main toolbox, tool options, layers, channels, paths, and brushes, patterns, and gradients. Now we're down to our last topic, which is uploading, sharing, and image hosting platforms. So briefly, we're going to discuss about image hosting and image sharing. An image hosting service allows individuals to upload images to an internet website. The image host will then store the image onto the server and show the individuals or the individual different types of code to allow others to view that image. On the other hand, image sharing or photo sharing is the publishing or transfer 
of a user's digital picture online. Image hosting websites offer services such as uploading, hosting, managing, and sharing of photos publicly or privately. Okay, so that's all for this vlog and thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Like and subscribe to this channel. Bye!